Right, just gonna do a quick review and a demonstration of silky Zubat saw. Now these ones are actually like professional versions. A lot of like tree climbers and tree surgeons use these for pruning with. This will probably be a good saw for a bug out bag. It's pretty big. There's my bag. It would go in the bag quite easily. It is pretty big, but for a bug out bag that'd be ideal. I wouldn't say this is Kydex, but it's that kind of you know kind of plastic material. You can put these for a leg strap, and a lot of people have them on their legs like that. Or it's got belt loop. This one's got a carabiner clip on it. And for quick release, it even comes undone there as well. So you can just wear that on your belt. Now we've had this one for quite a while. This is a 330, so I think that's 330 millimeters. I think. Excellent saw these are. But I've seen other people do reviews of these and say things like, oh, this blade's wobbly. The blade seems too thin. Thing is, they're missing the point completely. Because these saws. They will cut on the push, but they cut way more on the pull. So that's the push, and this is the pull. Now, it doesn't matter how wobbly this is, the only time you're going to bend the blade is when you're going forward. When you're pulling, never going to go anywhere so people saying that the blade seems flimsy they're just missing the point completely and then I've heard other people say things like it's a special technique it's not a special technique to use these all it is is you just know that it cuts more on the pull I'll set this up and we'll give it a go so like I said there's no special technique just know that they cut on the pull and this saw we've had for quite a long time is still razor sharp That short amount of time, you just cut all of this. All that amount of wood. bug out bag long term you wouldn't get a better saw than this I really don't think
small branches like that, sometimes you just do one swipe or two and it'll take them off. So that's a quick demonstration of the silky zoo bat. Give it a tap when you're done. Just knock some of these bits off. Like I said, it will cut on the forward cut, but so much more on the back cut. So anyone tells you that that feels wrong, that's because they don't actually know much about a silky saw. Overall decent sheath. It's even got these rollers here. So as you put your blade in, it rolls across them rather than cutting in. Clicks in, kind of like Kydex. This bit can come off if you want it to, if you didn't want to. You could probably paint these black if you wanted to but that's quite a good thing to be able to see it if you drop it anyway that's got a hole for a lanyard as well and these you can strap this to your leg or whatever which I have seen quite a few people do that have to have a look online how much they cost different places different things Japanese steel I'm sure they're about 70 to 80 quid you may get one cheaper and you can get shorter versions and they also do folding versions and stuff like that as well but this one same as like a fixed blade knife you can't seem to beat a fixed saw as well so anyway that's the silky zoo bat i thought i'd just show you that oh and this handle it's like a rubberized handle nice swoop down to it really good for the pull cut Right, anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, check out my channel. You can always subscribe. I upload them all the time, regular basis. So have a look. Right, cheers for watching, and I'll see you later. If you want to get full notifications for my channel, go to this little gear symbol next to where it says subscribe. Click on that, and here where it says send me all notifications for this channel, click on that, and then save it.